Well, I subscribed to someone yesterday, and um, this person talked about the sword coming, and the sword is coming, people. You can bet on that. You know, when I made that video earlier that I already uploaded, I haven't uploaded part two, but that video I uploaded was basically talking about the wicked because, like I said, the people that are wicked are the people out here being sinful. Um, I wonder if anybody has ever taken this into consideration that in 2015... When I watched that woman that day on a YouTube video say that God told her a meteor was going to hit the earth, and uh, then when I was in New Mexico, God told me that two-thirds of the population would perish, and literally put the things right in my lap to know that this is the truth, that this stuff is in the Bible. Do you know that I knew about this stuff before I ever watched one other person out here say anything about a meteor? That all these people out here that have had visions and dreams about a meteor, about a tsunami, I never watched not one person's videos out here Except for that one lady before God started showing me things. And isn't that kind of strange that I would come to the understanding from that one lady's video and then I asked God why a few days later and he answered me. And uh, how was I able to rightly divide that that this meteor that hits is what splits America into three pieces. Mystery Babylon. And how was I able to understand that when this one third of the ocean turns to blood, that that is because of the meteor. Just like a lot of the earthquakes that the Bible talks about is going to be because of this meteor also. I mean, there's no doubt uh, earthquakes have, uh, have jumped in the amount that we have. But I know that the big devastation is going to be because of a meteor. And yet, I only heard one person's video about a meteor. I never even watched when I was in New Mexico. I never even watched one video of a person having visions and dreams. It wasn't until I went to uh, Pecos, Texas where I delivered the septic that I backed up at these oil rigs that I, that I talked to a guy and he said that there was actually someone that prophesied a meteor would hit. And it wasn't until two weeks later that I even knew who the person was. Because he went back and did some investi investigating. And it was Edgar Casey that prophesied it. Back in the 20s or 30s. And... Uh, It wasn't until after I left that night, two weeks later, when he brought that picture of what Earth would look like, that I was driving down the road and I witnessed that meteor going across the sky for five minutes. Across. Not like these burnouts that are happening that God is warning people all over the world. Like I said, all you have to do is Google it. YouTube it, go to the Meteor Society, 
God's been warning people. These are signs in the skies of the end times. You know, I even tried. I, I even made a video one day. And I cannot remember what I titled it. But YouTube would not let me upload with that title. Global Catastrophe Coming. Because it is a global catastrophe. And uh, YouTube would not let me upload calling it that. I forgot about that. You know, I sit here and said that I made that meta, I made that video talking about coronavirus that day, and they wouldn't let me upload the video. Or I actually I uploaded it. They took it down because they said it was medical misinformation. Actually, if anybody would have watched that video, I never said anything that was wrong. I never, not one time, said one thing in that video that was wrong. They took it down because somebody had to say something. And then I made another video and I said, this is not medical misinformation. And then I never got it wrong. And I said, and I requoted things and they have yet to, to take the video down. It's not medical misinformation when you tell the truth. Just because fact checkers out here give their two cents worth does not mean that it's a fact. And just because these fact checkers are against me and you doesn't mean that YouTube should jump on their side either. Everyone should have ran from the corona uh, vaccine. But, you know, I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to say things. Starting, people are going to start seeing that I'm going to be a different person from now on. Because the video that I'm going to upload before this is going to be my last video talking against sin. I may sit here and say, go back and watch a video I made. But I'm not going to talk about this stuff no more. I'm not going to say that when I start reading the Bible that I'm not going to bring this stuff up and point this stuff out in the videos that I make, but I am not going to go back and talk about sin like I have in the past. Just like I'm not going to go back to talking about the reason why we're in this position in the first place. We did it to ourselves. That's all that needs to be known. We should have never turned away from God. Coffee on the nose. Okay, so uh, but yes, a meteor will hit soon. Yes, it will. And uh, I know that when I subscribed to someone yesterday that made a video in this video that this guy said God will not listen when the time comes and this stuff is in the Bible you could be out here thinking you're right with God and you're not and when that day comes around and you are not right with God there's already proof in the Bible God will not even listen to you. So if you're going to make your decisions to start serving the Lord, it needs to be today. Not tomorrow. Not waiting until it hits the fan. The meteor I know about again is not at the end. There's no way that God would talk about a meteor to people out here and give a message for people to give to people 
to warn people out here if this is at the end. I know people want to lay claim, but it's not the end. I'm not going to say there's not another meteor coming afterwards. I mean, I already found somebody already out there that professed that there would be multiple meteors at different times. All I know is God warned us in the word in his living word. And he doesn't care about your salvation when that day comes rolling around. Because he warned everyone. It doesn't make a difference if it's my fault. It doesn't make a difference if it's your fault. It doesn't even make a difference whose fault it is. When that day comes around, God is not going to be listening. And I, I really am, it really is sad that all these people would let themselves get built up worrying about a rapture they would not even make if the rapture were to happen right now. Or for them to all be watching rapture videos as if that's the only important thing out here. The most important thing is knowing your right with God. And with what the church preaches out here again, these people couldn't guarantee themselves nothing. <clears throat> so, uh, But it's not a pre-trib. No, it's not. You know, I'm glad that I'm witnessing people out here. Some people out here that should have a long time ago admitted when they were wrong. I've admitted when I was wrong. Just like a month or so ago when I took that three weeks off. If I recall, I made a video, whether I ever uploaded it or not, it's two different things because I'm dumb and make videos and delete them. And uh, I never should have professed that I knew something was about to happen. I know it's going to happen. I know when it's going to happen. Does that mean I know tomorrow is it or a month? No. I'm talking con as far as the Bible is concerned. Just like this woman professed she knew when the rapture was. And guess what? She was 100% correct. Now reading the Bible... You can calculate when abouts. But things will happen before the rapture. They already have. How many people would have professed that they wouldn't even be around right now, five years ago? Much less to see what's happening right now. But that's not what this video was about. This video was about a meteor. Again, when I got over the road driving truck, actually when I was in New Mexico, I witnessed two meteors. One in Pecos, Texas. And, uh, not Pecos, JAL, New Mexico. J-A-L, New Mexico. Jowl, New Mexico. And then I witnessed two in West Virginia.
Um, and like I said, when I got on the internet that day and all of a sudden ran across something that showed where the ground cracked in Mexico and where the ground cracked by Yellowstone. And I want you guys to witness something here. Has anybody ever heard in the past where nuclear radiation, supposedly salt water does something to nuclear radiation, where it may actually cause it to not necessarily be so harmful? Has anybody ever heard that? I googled it one day trying to see if it would come up. And I could never find it. But I'll tell you this. These days will be right next to each other. So I sit here and said that if a meteor hit the ocean like people think that they've had visions and dreams just like how could the how could the ocean reach all the way to the Appalachian Mountains? I mean, I'm driving truck right well, I'm parked right now, but again, I drive truck. I know where the Appalachian Mountains are. I know they're in North Carolina. I know they're Pennsylvania. I know they're in I don't know exactly where they're at in all these states because there's mountains all over Pennsylvania. There's mountains in West Virginia. You got some in North Carolina. You don't have none in South Carolina. I mean, you can drive all the way across the state of South Carolina. I don't think I've ever seen any mountain ranges. So that ocean reaches all the way to the Appalachian Mountains. That's what it looks like when you Google Edgar Cayce's picture of Earth and go to images and you see exactly what was prophesied. That the Great Lakes empty into the Gulf of Mexico. That east of that is one piece. The middle of America from where the Gulf of Mexico to where the West Coast falls off into the ocean. That's two pieces. The piece that falls off into the ocean is three pieces. When you read about mystery, I mean, when you read about Babylon, when you read it, listen to what you, listen to when you read it. You'll find out it is not one city. It is a nation. Read, l listen to what it says when you read it. When God pours his wrath upon this world and people get exactly what they deserve. And if that's me or if that's you or if that's anyone out here. Back to my favorite saying, it is what it is. Hopefully people come out of the darkness and into the light prior to beforehand, not prior, beforehand, like five minutes from now, <laughs> 10 seconds from now. Um, but I figured I would make another video about this. Again, I know why our governments are trying to prepare to do something to defeat a meteor. On this Israel website that I used to be, I used to have, I used to be subscribed to, America, China, and Russia. And I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if it's because of the visions and dreams that people have had out here. Remember, there's a reason why they're preparing. Doesn't it sound like that it would be smart if people would be preparing for their salvation?
because these people do not escape. And it tells you clearly that in the Bible. You got to look at, there's multiple things about the days of Noah. The giving in to marriage and all that. And then comes sudden destruction. Because I've heard other people talk about other things referring to the days of Noah. And, but but you also know about the destruction and that God not listening and mocking people and uh, well again it still takes a person to repent and turn from their wicked ways so again I'm not talking against sin in this video but repent and turn from your wicked ways that's the only thing I'm going to say about sin in this video. Again, I'm not going to talk about this stuff all the time anymore. All I know is God is warning. And as far as Yellowstone, nah. I don't believe in the Yellowstone thing happening at all, people. You guys can all be frantic about Yellowstone. I'm not sweating Yellowstone at all. I would tell you the reason why I say that. But I do believe that there's a reason why that, that part of the America falls off into the ocean. It's not just because of the wickedness, but because the volcanoes will go off. And everything. And it will just right off into the ocean. everything west of Yellowstone. Well, this isn't a fear tactic to get, to get somebody to turn to God. It's a reality check. Because in people's actions out here prove not only the Christians, but the rest of the world is not serving God. And I'm just warning people. That's it. No more than is anyone else out here that has a message. I'm not going to talk about the mushroom clouds that I've witnessed. I mean, I already said it just now. That was back in 2015. And then, of course, in 2017, Amarillo, Texas, had, they witnessed one in Amarillo, Texas. But I witnessed two with my own two eyes. Within a month's time. And I'm 46 years old. And outside of those two that I witnessed with my own two eyes, the one in Amarillo and the one that girl posted on Facebook that I was friends with when I went to school with her in junior high, were the only four I've ever witnessed in my entire life. <clears throat> I know people will say there's clouds out there that look like mushroom clouds. Yes, that's not what I'm pointing out. I've been, I've, the last, ever since 2016, I've been out here driving truck. Drove three years from 99, 2000, 2001. Used to go on vacation every year with my grandparents. And all those years, the two I've witnessed with my own two eyes, the one on Facebook and the one on the internet that you guys can Google if you want, are the only ones I've ever witnessed. And that's all been within the last three or four years. And as far as these meteors that are following, falling and fizzing out that God's been warning people, you know what? That has not been happening all of my 46 years. 
just because I was up in Colorado or wherever when a meteor landed right next to my grandparents vehicle when we were going through the mountains and I begged my grandparents to stop that was not a warning from God and all it was was a fireball it wasn't no, well it was a meteor but <laughs> uh, I'm still alive and kicking Wake up, people. We're running out of time.